Hey, what's going on guys? MC here coming at you with another video and today I'm bringing you a new series to my channel. It's not Minecraft related, I'm sorry about that for you guys that want to watch Minecraft, but I thought I'd bring you something different. Like I've had a few series ideas from a few amazing people and you know, it's it's a it's a feelings video because like this this is gonna be a series of feelings because of how how feelings affect you and how they've affected me because I've been through a lot in my life as not many of you know but well as a few of you know and like I want to, I want to open up to you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do like videos like this uh, but today we're covering Karen and I do hope you guys enjoy because I really do hope to do more of these because like I can do one I love which I can bring special guest in for um, I'm doing I plan on doing one on anger like all the feelings that you could feel in the world I plan on doing series on um, so like the the Oxford dictionary like meaning for caring it means displaying kindness and concern for others but I, I'll go more into depth with that in a little in a in a little while. This is gonna be sort of a short video, but it's it's a short series. Uh, there's a lot of feelings you can feel. So, but today we're covering caring, as you guys know, and it obviously means displaying kindness and concern for others. But there's there's so many types of caring because there's so many different types because. There's family, there's relationships, and there's friendships, and there's even more, which I can't remember, and the friend that I was Skyping earlier, couldn't remember, um, because I thought of this with my friend, Emily, uh, massive shout out to you, Emily, um, but yeah, this is, this is sort of a touching video where I'm going to talk about some stuff, and yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy, so, there's different types of caring, family, relationships, and friendships, but they all have different aspects of them, but they, they seem to have different angles, but they have the same motive, and they have so much in common, because they all link up together, because they link back to the word caring. Um, with the family aspect of caring, it shows that... Uh, With family, it's they it's taking more care of you and making sure that you are safe in yourself, and that's what family that's what family caring is. If there is if I do miss stuff out, do leave it down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for any um, anything, just let me know. But with relationships, it's more of a loving unconditionally, and yet again making sure that you they're safe and happy because if you have a partner you want to make sure they're safe they're happy and that you just want to make sure that they're out there and that they're happy for you because that you're happy for them and that they're safe because that, they obviously mean the world to you that they you're in a relationship with them at the end of the day um so that's quite a difficult one to do but I'm covering like three aspects of it at the moment uh, but with friendships with the friendship aspect of caring it's more of being there for you when you're emotionally down which links back to relationships and family as well but it's making sure you're safe in safe and happy no matter what and your friendship relationship and family this is what I was saying about it all linking up because all the all of what I've mentioned with the family relationships and friendships like they all they all involved in it sort of thing um, but yeah like being cared for and giving care can be taken to so many levels where it can end up saying saving someone's life and that's when the caring gets 
that gets good because you don't you don't want someone to die, do you? Like the caringness, well, the the care that you, the amount of care you put in, is sort of difficult because of how you react and stuff like that. But but it's it can end up saving people's lives, believe it or not, because even a little bit of care for someone that hasn't that doesn't feel cared for can automatically make this decision of I'm not going to jump today, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do this and the people can be so thankful for you caring for them but when it's more of an independent type of person they tend to push push the people that care for them most away and not seem to give a damn about how much how much care they're being given um, and they'll never accept they'll never accept the care uh, they'll never accept it and like they'll push you away because they don't want to they don't want to seem dependent on you sort of thing they want to seem they want to be independent and they want to live their own life but at the same time a lot of people tend to hide the fact that they care for people because believe it or not people think they can be ju they're gonna be judged for it and they're gonna be judged for caring for someone and that is never the case like when it's when it's human nature to care for someone and it gets beyond the point where caring for another human being nowadays is being judged and believe it or not there's no judging needed because of how how amazing like a little bit of care does like it can save lives as i said but no matter what happens like no matter what they mean to you if they're your worst enemy or if they're your best friend and you 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 always think you'll you'll be judged for caring for them when you're not because the only judgment you'll receive from them from the person is in need because they they're thankful and if you get set aside in their good in like a good side to their mind because of how how you made them feel because like recently in my life a lot of people like a lot of people have cared for me over my whole life um and to begin with i seemed to push everyone away when it came down to it i realized when it came down to it like my all-time low and stuff like that i know that's a band by the way by the way um but when it came down to the point where i was at my lowest point that i could ever be where i could do where i could have, where I could have done anything, I let them people in that cared for me and even though you might be a cagey person, at the end of the day what makes you, you is letting them people in and letting them care for you because without them you wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't be here today because I'd have done so much stupid stuff there and I'd have ended up, I've end, I'd have ended up hurting myself and not being here anymore um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a short video, it's like 10 minutes long or something like that. It depends how long the editing takes and stuff. But this is going up today at like 7pm GMT time. But I thought I'd do a, ser I thought I'd do a new series because I, I haven't done a series on my channel for a little while now. And I want to do one for you guys to bring back the memories. Um, but yeah let them people in that care about you because they can help you so much they they helped me to the point where i i was living off one hope and that hope was the people that cared for me and the people that cared for me helped me push through it and they that's that, that's why i'm here today because of how amazing then people are that care for me. I'm not going to mention any names, but 
yeah, this is the first episode in like a long, fairly long series. But if you did enjoy, guys, do hit that like button, subscribe, favorite. We're nearly at 100, 350 subscribers, so do hit that subscribe button. That really does mean the world to me. I love you guys to pieces. Thank you all so much for the support on every single video I posted. Um, and I just want to thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next emotions video thing, Majig. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. They taught me to write what I see. New York taught me to be real. Out here, it's kill a get kill. So I gotta make that change and just just tell them how I feel.